last night's dinner. If you didn't, it's too bad. There's no refunds. Um, I've already told you that the, for the first time, we've actually had somebody that paid that didn't come. Paid that didn't come. Uh, and no, I didn't give somebody the slot because I've been asked that several times. Could I have that slot because you, you got paid and the guy didn't come? No. He said, give it to charity. That's what he, he told me when he decided not to come, so we gave it to charity. Um, you're here because you're alumni. You know that uh, this is more or less what I'm, uh, what people think I am. Uh, you know, I'm some sort of Neanderthal. I'm an animal of some sort of throwback. But I am. There's no doubt about that. The, um, and we've told you before that we want um, you guys to ride to the, the streets of uh, wherever you're from, like the fifth uh, horseman of the apocalypse. Uh, a couple of you are, most of you aren't. Um, you've uh, had some disdain. I've talked about the 18-year-old kid who's done so well. Uh, you have disdain. Some of you are ashamed. Uh, but uh, I've told him he shouldn't be here, whereas everybody here should be here, with maybe one or two exceptions. You should be here. Um, but this is the hard uh, quantum leap advantage hardcore seminar, and uh, we're going to erase that high-performance people. We're going to say for wannabe high performers, because you know, although you're more high performance than the people watching this on YouTube, you still got a long way to go. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. You wouldn't be here. Now, um, we're closing in on my 23rd year of doing this. The first seminar I ever gave was um, at the Sheraton Hotel in Los Angeles in 1993. I had about uh, right around 100 people that all pay a grand. The first seminar I gave, uh, Bruce the Whipple, uh, Burl the Crump, Burl the Thumper Crump, um, Casey Stevenson. Uh, I don't remember if Joe was there or not, Paulus or not. Um, and um, the, I thought, uh, as some of you have heard me say, that I, I would have to line up with security guards 25 across and 1,000 deep for people that would want to come and hear uh, my stuff. I was so fucking wrong. Um, you can't get much more wrong <coughs> than uh, that uh, because the, the, the word spread quickly. Um, I've told you the, the quickest thing that spreads, not good news, but bad news, across the industry that uh, I was an animal and that I would humiliate you and make you cry in the seminars. Uh, and I used to make them cry when there was a, a hundred or five hundred in the room let alone in this, these small confines. Um, and I gave 22 seminars in a row. In about 27 weeks, I gave 22 seminars across the United States. And uh, some people followed me from seminar to seminar, like groupies, like groupies. Uh, and the, um, but um, I had wished that those groupies, although two, three of those groupies are up there, uh, all those groupies would have, um, would have taken in the information and spread it amongst the, uh, you know, like Christ and the bread on the water and that kind of shit. It didn't work that way. It took me years and years and years to get the message across. Um, and, uh, but I thought turning 800 bucks into a half a billion was a big fucking deal. It was. But every single person almost that came to the seminar said, that's Dan. That's not me. That's Dan. I don't have the, uh, I'm not slick silver tongued like Dan. I'm not good looking like Dan. I'm not, I'm too fat, I'm too skinny, my tits are too small. <laughs> you know, uh, oh, your tits are just right though. Uh, my, t my tits are too small, and, and you know all the reasons. The same reasons you cocksuckers are coming up with today. I could have been somebody, I could have been a contender, but I fucked up on, I mean, I have heard every motherfucking story known to man about why I should, I could have, you know, etc. And, uh, uh, and in fact, now with the internet, there are new twists on why I couldn't. The internet was just in its infancy in those days. Al Gore hadn't discovered it, I guess, by then. But the, uh, it was just in its infancy. And that now there's more reasons. Now, in those days, those people are the 90s and early 2000s. You can see they're drunk. We don't show the guys when they were uh, jacking off on the snooker table and having sex on the snooker table. 
Those pictures aren't up there. But I mean, you look. I mean, look at pa a Harvard doctor passed out drunk. I mean, and we used to drink at lunch. Drink at lunch. And they were drank. And we drank at breakfast because the hangovers were so fucking bad from uh, uh, the night before. Uh, uh, at least fifty percent of the time, they saw the sun come up. And that's where most of those people are from. And now we got you. What happened? And now it's easier. It's easier. What you think of yourself, because this is more prevalent today than it was back then. And you heard this last night, but we're going to hear it again for, for you fuckers. Take the hits. You're not willing to take the hits. Nobody in here is taking a hit like I've taken during the night thing. And I, we're just going to show part of this from last night. This is allegedly one of the top 10 fights of the last 100 years. It's what Gotti Ward, where they are killing each other, and you don't know which one's going to win. Nobody in this fucking room has done, gone through any kind of pain like this fight. Nobody, Ray. Especially you, cunt. You want to get to be a billionaire or up on the hall of fame without taking the hits. That ain't going to happen. That's not going to happen. You want to get on that wall without, with, by being politically correct. That's not going to happen. You can get up on the Hall of Fame without knowing what the fuck you're doing, which all puts you in that category. But you got to pay the price. And so far, nobody has. Nobody's taking a body shot like that. Gory thinks he has, but he hasn't. Bin Laden thinks he has because, you know, he's been besmirched in the paper. He might think he has because he's been besmirched in the paper. Everybody understand besmirched? Well, look it up. Google fuck it. Some of these people ha haven't even remotely, they haven't even been... Like I said, last night, there are people in this room that have never been in a fist fight, never been knocked out, never taken a fucking beating like that. Now, some of you have taken beatings like that by your father. Some of you, your father should have fucking beat you like that. You've heard my kid brother say, the only difference between me and my big brother is if dad had beat me like he beat Dan... I'd be more successful, and he's very successful. But my dad got tired as he got older, because he had a second family as he got older. The few versus most of them that attempt QLA. You saw this last night. This is you, the room, and this is you, YouTubers. Pay attention, YouTubers, you fucking cunts. And Merry Christmas. You stand around and watch all the opportunities go by. You sit there, you sit there, you sit there. I'm surprised that the fucking uh, wildebeest didn't step on the poor bitch. <laughs> they sit there, they sit there. They, oh, I'm getting ready. Bert's getting ready. Bert's getting ready. Rick's getting ready. Oh, maybe, maybe the next one. Maybe the next one. Maybe the next one. Oh, fuck, no, no, I'm tired now. Maybe the next one. Maybe the next one. And here comes. And there comes somebody like me just jumps on the fucker and eats it. Maybe the next one, Ray. Who in this room is that male lion? And the truth of the matter is the female lion does all the fucking hunting, not the male. So the male got tired of waiting. He must have been really hungry. Come on, you bitch. How come you're not doing anything? So she, he finally jumped on some poor fucker. Once you become fearless, life becomes limitless. 
The difference between me and everybody in this room is I have no fear of anything. Not physically, not mentally, not emotionally, psychologically, whatever fucking adjective you want to use, or maybe throw in a few adverbs. I have no fear. I have no fear. But yet, most of the people on that wall are not alpha males like me. They're little weenies like Chris. QLA mentees don't get ready, they stay ready. QLA is a way of life, be all you can be. Michael Jordan, I missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games, 26 times I've been get, trusted to take the game-winning shot and missed. I failed over and over and over again. That's why I succeed. Nobody wants to hear about my failures. And I got more than this whole room put together. because I don't worry about him, and apparently he didn't worry about him. The world will not value me until I value myself. Now, this morning is the only time we're going to talk about this. This is a review. Now, this is from one of yous. I've taken the name out to protect the guilty. Thanks a lot for this, Dan. I can, see, I can see that, as most of us, I'm pretty fucked up uh, from my parents. Whenever uh, there was a conflict, my mother thought there was a way to resolve it mutually, but never making a cut. My father let others take advantage of him fully aware of it, but thinking it's a decent thing to do. I will go search for some of my German Nazi inside me. That limits it to a few people here because there's not that many Nazis in the room. There are a few. Your mother and father fucked you up, are currently fucking you up. Contrary to what some of you think. And being decent ain't gonna get you a billion dollars. Change a billion lives and you'll make a billion dollars. Then you can go out, out and save the motherfucking forest. The minute you have a backup plan, you've admitted you're not going to succeed. That's Elizabeth Holmes, the founder of uh, Toronto, whatever the fuck that is. Doesn't she make underwear or panties or something? She's a billionaire. Blood testing. Blood testing. Okay, well, not a bad looking chick. Not a bad looking girl. Uh, I bet you you're not getting blowjobs like that in, in fucking uh, uh, Kuala Lumpur. As Michael Phelps said, eat, sleep, and swim. Eat, sleep, QLA. Because we want you to become a QLA bot. A QLA bot, like a fucking robot. Like they call the people Amazon, Amazbot or Amazon bot, or whatever the fuck they call them. Amazon. You always want to, you always ask them, what's the, what's the secret formula, Dan? What's the secret formula to, to, to getting some fucking money, not the chump change you got, Vander oh. Kluster fuck? Well, how, you know? And the secret formula is this. I, ne I, I never w wrote it down before because it's a fucking secret, right? <laughs> but you're so fucking stupid. I'm going to write it down. I've said this in the seminar countless times. The three most successful people, three of the most successful people in the last 22 years, each made 1,200, 1,500, and 1,800 cold calls in a year. Cold. That's, you don't know them. Your secretary doesn't call them for you. Your assistant doesn't call them for you, Tony. Okay? Because you're all cunts, we'll say you can only do 1,200 cold calls. Okay? 1,200 cold calls in 12 months, that's 100 cold calls a month. I used to make 100 cold calls in a motherfucking day. Because you only work five days a week, you may, you may put shit down there like seven days a week, but you're only working, you're not even working two days a week. That's only five cold calls a day. That's the secret. And we have people that make, count the cold calls on this. Cold calls, one of my guys, I also told not to be here. Financial presentations, cold calls. To keep your job 80 hours a week at Amazon, to be considered for promotion 85 hours a week. Off and YouTube, Merry Christmas, go fuck yourself on that note, happy note. 